Hello, I am out and about with the camera and I'm just pulled over on the side of the road in a little lay-by because I'm out with Nigel and Ryland. Um, they are, you can just see their vans up the top there. They've stopped to get this big waterfall on the other side of this rock and I thought I'd walk up to them. But while I was here, I spotted something out the corner of my eye and I had to come and have a look at it because there's a hole carved all the way through the rock. And this is one of these images that reminds me of Mr. Gavin Harcastle, the old photo tripper himself. He gets these really interesting shapes and things in some of the locations he's been to. And I've just seen this. And this is phenomenal. Look at that hole punched all the way through the rock. And there's this little arch and these rocks and these shapes and these formations going on here. And I just thought this would be ideal to get the longer lens on. Zoom in on a couple of these shapes and try and get some unique arty farty type of images from the shapes now it's not the easiest stuff to walk on here but i am going to make my way down to it and i'm now on the edge and you can see here this is perfect for a polarizer but look at all these little shapes and things going on in front of me and there's even a little cascade there but i definitely desperately i definitely need to get the the longer lens out so i can zoom in onto this and get some of these really nice quirky images the water is really deep here <laughs> really really deep um, but i think the polarizer is going to punch through um, so yeah camera out let's have a look and see what i can make of this i wasn't going to video so this is a special little treat video i'm going to put out for you i just love all these little this is there's like little chasms and shapes and things that this could make for some really interesting nice polarized shapes and formations and you ain't gonna, you will not know where i am just by looking at the images but yeah there's some really nice looking stuff here and i'm just going to fill my boots and take a few shots i'm literally parked just up there behind those trees so yeah that's 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 what i'm going to do so i'm going to start off by putting my uh, maven you can see here i've got a maven um filter adapter it's nice and green so you can see what it is i love the maven equip equipment um, I'm very into the Maven filters at the moment. I like them very, very, very much. So I'm going to tap this to the front of my long lens. This is the 62, sorry, this is the 67 to 77. I am fumbling around a bit because normally this would be attached to the front of my lenses and I don't ever take them off. Um, you can see there now that's attached to the front of my um, long lens. And then on the front of that, uh, that is magnetic. You can attach your lens cap if you want to but i'm going to take that off and i'm going to use this blue you can see that i've got the blue filter and the blue filter i just literally snap to the front and the blue filter means that i'm using a polarizer and then you've got the magnetic lens cap as well now i'm trying to do all this live and hands-on and it's not always easy when you're hands-on but you can now see that on the front there if i can spin the camera around i've now got a polarizer on the front and as i spin the polarizer I'm going to get polarization and with it being magnets and like i say the maven ones are blue so with it being magnets i know that i can just spin it around and it's stuck to the front so let's get ourselves a couple of conversations set up i'm going to switch on the camera and uh, i'm just going to look through the lens and find something that really does catch my eye and once it catches my eye i'm going to zoom in on that focus on it and then that's going to be our first image of the day shot at these absolutely amazing shapes i'm sure through the lens it's going to look phenomenal it really is Right, so my first one then um, is just the green algae on on this rock with this hole in the top, and then you've got this little section at the bottom. And I just, I just, I'm just going to play with these images. These images are going to be fun images. I'm not going to take this too seriously. I'm just going to look for stuff that I think looks good. Uh, maybe this lens is just a little bit too tight for this image. Uh, the actual shot I want is I could maybe move back a bit further. Um, I'll put the other lens on in a minute and come back to this one but first of all I think this this is just all about this hole so I'm going to zoom in on this hole get as tight as I can to this hole and you'll be able to see through the hole and you'll get this it's just a pattern in the rocks so hole rock and then image taken it's just really is as simple as shooting through the hole and the green and the algae it's just a little bit different 
I'm not going to lie, I'm actually struggling to actually make these images work to show you what it is I'm seeing. I'm, I'm almost speechless, I'm wordless. Um, I've got all this beauty in front of me, these fantastic rock carvings, these rock sculptures, these rock evolution masterpieces in front of me um, and the water's so 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 aqua clear it's amazing with a polarizer to see through and all the shapes underneath the water as well but I just I'm really struggling on how to convey this to you how to make this work in an image that actually works you know I'm, I'm taking lots and hopefully when I get back and process them and make them gritty and pull out the colours and the textures and the lines and the shapes, it might work. I might be able to convey what I'm seeing, but at the moment, this is really, really difficult camera work. Um, but I'm not giving up. You know me, I, I never give up. I always produce something. See, this to me from the back of the camera looks amazing, but it doesn't I'm not sure whether it's it's actually producing what I'm seeing you know through my eyes I don't I'm not sure it is maybe I should be bracketing maybe this is I should be compensating for the light the shadows and the dark bits I don't know um, very nice very pretty but extremely difficult to try and capture what I want to show you if you know what I mean yeah something like that I've actually moved positions slightly now. I'm actually still on a rock. And again, I've still got these shapes and the shapes and everything are phenomenal. The polarizer is making a phenomenal, amazing amount of difference. This image, for instance, cannot be taken without the polarizer on it. And I'm gonna show you why in a moment. It's about the rock and the reflection and the texture and the, the rubble inside it. Um, you know, the underneath of the water. So I'm going to take this one. Uh, I'm not sure if the composition is perfect. I don't even know if I need to bracket. I'm going to turn my bracketing back off. I don't need all them images. It's in the histogram. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin my polarizer around and I'm going to show you the difference, this image, with the polarizer off. And it's insanely different. But yeah, polarizer off, you almost, the image isn't even there. It's just not there at all. But yeah, the the textures and it's beautiful nature's beautiful this one looks like a tortoise <laughs> sticking his head out of the water I'm gonna have one of them let's focus on that it just looks like a tortoise swimming out the water how cool is that so yeah I'm just yeah literally just looking around pointing the camera in different positions and the beauty that is is right in front of me I'm afraid and I can't quite convey what it looks like through the Osmo. We did stop here. The first reason was to, for this waterfall, and this is a lovely waterfall. You now I'm up, high, I'm, I'm quite high. I'm actually looking down now to where I was before. Um, I think I can probably take you and show you where I am and what I'm doing. So this is where we are. We're now up on the top of where we were before. We were right down there before, in between all those rocks, and it's very, very dry. All this, you know, is undercover. It's normally undercover when you've got the high water levels and. It's just so beautiful. I just love all these carvatures and all these shapes and the little holes and the little pockets that you get in these rocks and all the little twirly bits and the, sh the, the designs. Nature is amazing at carving. It's 
own beauty into the landscape, into the rocks. Um, but I just can't see a way of getting photographs. I'll have to watch where I'm putting my feet because there's not a lot in between me and falling down some of this. Um, and you can see over there, there's another great big carvation into that over there. But yeah, I just can't seem to make these images work. There's a nice little waterfall dropping in, another little pocket. And you can see I'm now stood right on the edge of this cliff, which is interesting. But let me just spin you around and just show you what I mean about these carvatures, as I'm, as I'm nicknaming them. Um, so if I just zoom in for you, you can see down there, you see all these little, like, like I'm saying, calling them carvatures, you know, where it's carving away these rocks and making these little pools and up here you can see there's some um if i can get it on camera you see these little circles where the water's uh cut out you know these different shapes in the in the water and it's just absolutely amazing i mean just look at that section where are we somewhere around there with all this the shapes that it's just the water over the years and the thousands of years of of, of being here has actually sort of carved its shapes and natural wanders into the into the land now what i am here for is this this waterfall and this look at this for a beautiful beautiful waterfall so i've, I've taken quite a tight one getting rid of all the sky because there really is nothing going on up there whatsoever so the idea is just to keep in tight with this keeping close the polarizer makes all the water jet black and i'm just concentrating on the waterfall i'm going to try and get round over the other side because i think over there there's a nice little pool of water that's going to look pretty tasty if i can get there got it I've got myself in a position where I can get a shot that's a little bit different to maybe Joe Bloggs might get um, I've climbed onto the rocks I've got this lovely jagged edge now leading in with a little bit of a reflection in places the polarizers then making the water nice and dark which is what I want I'm focusing on the rocks in the foreground if you notice my camera is actually upside down now the beauty of having this atoll attached to my camera is I can flip it all the way upside down and uh, I can get in positions where I can't normally get into and my buttons are all accessible as well but yeah this this is quite nice not a bad little shot I'm just going to make sure I've got lots of brackets of different exposures to make sure that I've got everything but I've got all the leading lines pointing towards the water but I am balanced on the rocks a little bit um, you know I like me like a little bit of danger but yeah it's uh, not ideal when the tripod's as high and as balanced as it is you can see by this asshole I can spin it all the way around and I can't see the screen that way so the beauty is I can go around this direction and I can still see the screen which is really quite cool to be honest and I'm looking down on the rocks the reason I'm looking down is I'm getting all these lines leading me through the image which I think works quite nicely and I'll take one more focus on the rock in the foreground and I think that'll be about it uh, time to get a cup of coffee move on to our next little location and got off these dangerous rocks and i just want to say why i'm here as well i want to say thanks to ballaret for um these gloves they've got a really nice rubber palm on the inside so i can grab all the things and carry stuff around really safely um, they've got a nice cuff that keeps the warmth in my hands because my hands are freezing you know it's really cold at the moment and it keeps the warmth in your wrist when you've got these nice um, merino wool cuffs and of course you can get your fingers out getting your fingers out is a, a really good thing to do when you're trying to operate your camera and you just pop your fingers back inside when you want to try and keep them warm. They've got little magnets on the back which keeps your fingers folded back and um, keeps them out, the, out of the way when you're trying to sort of use and operate your fingers. So yeah, thanks to Valorant for these. These are the Markov V2s, the version 2s. Um, they've got a little zip in the back. You can put a hand warmer in them. And it's also like a, an, uh, uh, like a screwdriver type thing inside the back as well. But yeah, Valorant gloves, absolutely brilliant for these sort of conditions. So, I think I'm about done. I'd like to get over there, but I can't see a way of getting around there. I might just have a nose first before we go, but always put your lens cap back on when you're on the rocks and you're moving around, just to make sure that if you do drop the camera, it's not gonna hit the glass on the rocks, basically. Right, so, put the camera back round into a normal position to carry in, lock everything off, and let's get off this rock.
So why am I walking down the road <laughs> carrying my tripod and my gear? Why didn't I get the guys to run me down here? They're behind me. So never mind. Um, I've just been up on those rocks. That's where I was just now. Just stood on them rocks having a look down this river. Uh, it's very impressive. I do. I'm not a big naturist. Is that the word? No, that's about getting the clothes off in it. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I, I'm fascinated by what uh, Mother Nature has done to our country, uh, to our world. And it, it always fascinates me, these curvatures and these rocks and these sculptures. And, you know, like when you go into the Peak Districts and you've got these little hollows in these rocks that are now high and dry, that were at the bottom of a riverbed or the bottom of the sea at some point. It's just it's fascinating to think that we were underwater once upon a time. So I'm not sure what the plan is. I saw a reflection and some rocks further down the road. We might pull in there. I'll get a couple of shots there and then I think we're going to go and get some cake and coffee at the Ellen Valley Visitor Centre. And I'm on the main road, there's a car coming, so I'm gonna move out of the way. And, uh, whew, it's a quick road, this one. And I can't complain, I used to come flying up here on a motorbike back in the day. Right, I'm back at the van. Let's pack this lot away and let's uh, move on to somewhere to finish off this video.